Um, hello, everyone. My name is Shabir Ahmed. I'm a licensed real estate agent. I work with Corporate Group in New York, and I'm also CEO and founder of SMY Solutions. SMY Solutions is uh, basically provides uh, virtual assistance, uh, and we are specializing um, uh, to work with real estate agents. Today, my topic is uh, one of the most important tool uh, used by real estate agents in New York is pretty easy to generate leads. And today I want to talk about uh, how to enter a rental listing in street easy. So let's do it. I am in my street easy right now. So let me just move a few things. I am in the home page of Street Easy. Fine. I'm already logged in. So in my so we will go to the tab agent tools. From there we will go to my listings. And we have two options here: sales and rentals. Since we are entering a rental listing, we will go to rentals and we will create a rental. And I'm just taking an example. This is an example, 125 South Avenue. So it will automatically come up. Uh, I am uh, trying to, I'm just using an example and we will have to give a unit as well. If it is a townhouse, if it is a complete townhouse, then you don't have to give a unit. But in this case, it is a rental building and rental building, I'm using one unit as an example. So uh, I'm just writing one as an example, create listing. And now now this listing is exclusive. Uh, if it is co-exclusive, that's something else, but it, it this is exclusive. It is asking for attached agreement, but uh, you can save the listing without attaching the agreement as well. It is asking for exclusive start date and exclusive end date. It is good to enter, but it is not mandatory. Gross commission. Uh, I mean, you can write it, but you don't have to write it. Uh, you can skip that as well. In most of the cases, I skip that. Uh, owner uh, pays the fee. So if in cases, if the owner is paying the broker's fee, then you can write it yes. It will automatically show up as uh, no fee to the uh, to the um, to the consumer to the renters, to the prospective tenants. But if it is uh, but if the owner is not paying the fee, then you can leave it. And uh, this is where you can add any of your other colleague. Like if another colleague from your company is on the listing, you can search his or her name from here and you can add him or her from here. And you have to affirm that uh, this is your name, this is your license type, and you have to affirm, you have to check mark this, that the above license is valid and up to date according to the uh, Department of Steel, Department of Steel's regulation. We are going to next. So uh, here we, we will see some step here, we can see about uh, one here about building, another about unit, photos and media and marketing. So we will go step by step to all these, all of the four uh, building amenities. Uh, pets are allowed or pets are not allowed. You can check here if like, or you can come to the details. If you have the details, if you know the detail, cats and dogs allowed, cats only, no dogs, uh, let's take just cats only and no dog as an example. So it will say that pets are allowed, but in pets only cats are allowed and dogs are not allowed. If it has any outdoor space, a courtyard, a roof deck, you can check that the feature, like it, it what other feature it have. Is there elevator? Is it laundry? Is there is a live super? Live in super mean if the super is living in the building. Uh, smoke free, you are checking it only if you know exactly that it is smoke free. Is it wheelchair accessible? Is it a doorman? Uh, I am taking uh, laundry in the building, checking that as an example. Uh, what is the situation of the parking? If there's parking, you can 
check that storage is there a storage cold storage bike storage locker cage package room i will just take bike storage and as, a, as an example are there any shared spaces there is there a school is there children playroom gym media room recreation things like that there are only few buildings in brooklyn which have a shared swimming pool so uh, if you're interested to know which building i'm happy to give details of that to you uh, in manhattan there are more buildings let's go to next we will automatically go to the unit uh, definitely uh, uh, this building is rental building but if it is a condo or co-op or a townhouse we can uh, check it up check it mark from here but this is a rental building when is that available is that available immediately or is that available at a later date i am taking february 1st as a later date short term allowed is only check mark if you know that this is check mark or allowed if you if you know that the short terms are allowed here here we're going to uh, write some we're going to write the gross rent let's assume i'm just putting an example 2900 dollars and if if there is again as we uh, uh, as we talk about in the in the previous uh, page if it is if the broker is if the owner is paying the fee then there is no broker fee then you can check mark the that this as well but you're only check mark this this if you are being told if you know for sure that that, that that there is no broker fee the fee is being paid otherwise you're not doing anything with that concessions you can only check that uh, you can only check mark that as yes if you know if you are being told for sure that there is concession. If, if there is any doubt or something like that, then you are not doing that. So the, the concession, the way concession work is, let's assume the owner is offering a one month free or a two month free, you can check market and then is it two month free or 12 month lease, it is two month free or 14 month lease, whatever the situation is, you can check market from here. As an example, we are seeing only uh, no concession. Then the legal bedrooms, let's assume there's a legal one legal bedroom, one legal bar, no half bath, and let's assume the total rooms are three. Uh, you are only entering the square footage if you know the exact square footage. Uh, in most of this, uh, in most of the cases, uh, most of the agents, the brokers, they uh, leave this vacant. And then you can write the description. I'm just putting it, putting this, you know, because we are doing as an informative video. Now we are going to the unit amenities. Is there a balcony, garden, private roof deck, things like that? Let's just give balcony as an example. And then what are the features? Dishwasher is one of the most important feature. If there is a dishwasher, you need to check it. Washer dryer is another. Uh, important feature and most of the apartments in New York have hardwood floors so if you are confirmed about these you can check that view what is the view what view you can see from the apartment can you see the city view can you see the skyline can you see the waters whatever you can check that let's do next so we can go to the so from here we can pick up files let's see if I will pick up one photo from here as an example. I'm just I'm just uploading this photo as an example. Fine. So I always I always tell uh, my team that like in an apartment rental there are uh, multiple photos. You are uploading multiple photos. So always keep the best photo the first one, the best photo the most nice the 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 photo where. There are a lot of windows. There is a lot of light, which which is uh, catchy to the eye. So uh, that is the most important photo. You may want to keep that as the main photo. And then uh, after the first photo, the second, third, and fourth photo, they shouldn't be just random photos. These photos should tell a story about the apartment. And from the story, I mean that let's assume you're putting a good photo of the the good photo you have that is for the living room so maybe you want to put a photo of the living room then another photo of the living room 
then bedroom, then another bedroom, then after that kitchen, then after that the building amenities, let's assume the building have laundry, bike storage, then you can put them, then you can put a photo of the building and then you can put a photo of the neighborhood. Like they should be in a way that they tell a story of the apartment, like they're starting from living room, they're starting from the from living room, they're going to bedroom, they're going to kitchen, they're going to the building amenities like the shared backyard, like the shared garden, like the laundry, like the bike storage, and then a shot of the building if, if, if you have a good shot, and then a shot of the neighborhood if you have. So uh, like the, the photos shouldn't be random, they should be in a nice way. And then floor plan if you have you can add the floor plan and then uh, if you have a YouTube video I always try my best to add a, a video link because video link is very helpful it give a better idea to the customers uh, you know it saves their time it saves your time and I always suggest to have your own YouTube channel upload your own uh, upload your own video on your own YouTube and just give a link here uh, because it just makes uh, life easier for everyone. So I strongly suggest that. Uh, skip. And then marketing. Uh, then this is um, this is another most important thing that uh, if you know when are you doing the open house, you can give the open house date. Uh, let's, we are just taking January 31st as an example. Uh, most of the, and we are taking uh, 1 p.m., start date and it goes up to 2 p.m we are just taking this an example so uh, the date of the open house start date and date and open houses are of two types one open house is a public open house everyone can just stop by you don't have to give details there but then there are other open houses which we call open house by appointment which means you have to check that first of all for that so you check that open house by appointment, which means that there is an open house, but it is by appointment, which means that the customer have to confirm with the broker or the agent before coming to the open house. Uh, there are different reasons that the agents do broker open house. They do it because uh, they, they help them attract more leads and um, they are not sure that someone is coming or someone is not coming. So they would rather just uh, put their availability there and if someone confirms they would come, they would go for the open house. If no one confirmed, they would rather not go for the open house. Everyone have different strategies. Uh, we might uh, talk about strategies uh, at a later stage, that what strategies uh, an agent should use to move their listing. And uh, I would also try to make another uh, video about what renters and what consumers should know, uh, what renters and what consumers should know uh, what re when renters and consumers should know uh, about all those things and uh, which can be helpful for them. So yeah, so once this is saved, then from draft, uh, uh, you can activate the listing. And as of today, today is 25 January, uh, 2024. And in New York, if you activate a listing on Street Easy, it is it, it gonna cost you $6 per day per listing. So if you hit the active right now, uh, the charges will start. So uh, I will not hit the active right now. It was just a training video. I don't wanna be charged for nothing. Uh, and then uh, if the listing is in contract, when the, when the listing goes to contract, then you can put that in contract. And if the listing is in contract, I would assume, I would suggest you, you go to, you, you, you don't take it off the market. You don't dis delist it. You mention it that the listing is in, in contract because in contract means it will be there. It will be on the website. Uh, customers will come and they will see it, that it is on the market. But you will not be charged for it. And if the if something fails, if if if, if the leases are signed, just take it off. Market is at rented. If the list if the leases are not signed, then you can um, change uh, the status from active from contract to active. So yeah, that should be it. Uh, uh, that should be it. Let's save the draft and let me show you where it is. Uh, uh, 
let's let's go from here you we go to agent tools and in agent tools we're going to go to my listings and in my listings here in rentals the listing is still here we can go to uh, uh okay, okay this is important so you can see the open house it it clearly shows here and shows by appointment so we can go to add it and in add it all the information is here if you want to update any information you can do it if not you can just simply uh you can just simply like activate it from here so yeah that was all about uh thank you very much for listening if you have any questions feel free to ask me feel free to comment if you have any questions um, follow this channel like it if you learn anything and stay tuned uh, you're going to see some more good videos uh, which will be both for the real estate agents and both for the consumer if you're looking to buy or if you're looking to sell or if you're looking to invest in new york i am your go-to guy and i'm happy to help thank you very much for watching